Welcome back to Entertainment Circle. I am Sheila Paz and I continue here with the excitement about Hillary Clinton's visit to Nashville. Hot off her South Carolina win, Hillary Clinton headed into Super Tuesday with a visit to Music City Meharry Medical College, wearing a glimmering stylish look worthy of a post Oscar win. The next president of the United States! I'm so excited to be here with Introduced by Hollywood royalty Tony Goldwyn, the grandson of a Hollywood movie mogul who plays the president on ABC's hit TV show Scandal, has this to say about who should be in the White House this November. Today, I'm announcing that I am not the president of the United States of America. Clinton received support from Mayor Megan Berry, who prepped the crowd prior to her 30-minute speech. Small businesses create about two-thirds of the jobs in America. And we've got to do more to really help boost small business. And I particularly want to boost small business for young people who have a dream, who have an ambition. And to support more minority and women-owned businesses. Clinton said there is a need to break down barriers on issues like the Affordable Health Care Act, global warming, the minimum wage, a need to increase manufacturing jobs and to create renewable energy as well as her plan to help small businesses thrive. You know, my campaign is really about breaking down barriers, breaking down the barriers that stand in the way of America fulfilling its potential and of every American fulfilling his or her potential. Clinton plans to continue building on President Obama's agenda, including a way to encourage states such as Tennessee to strengthen their participation in the Affordable Health Care Act. We finally have people getting health care coverage under the Affordable Care Act, and I am thrilled by this because, you know, when I was working on it, when it was called Hillary Care, people were basically at the mercy of the insurance industry. But we can't go back, and I'm really, I'm really sorry that your state would not extend Medicaid to 200,000 working Tennesseans. So I'm gonna do whatever I can as president to convince governors and state legislatures this is a pretty good deal. Clinton praised Sanders but says one key difference between her and her Democratic opponent was his plan to offer free college to everyone in the country. If you start your campaign talking about the need for a half a loaf, you're going to get crumbs. And the American people today do not want, do not need crumbs, they need the whole loaf. Clinton says she would allow students to refinance loans, create special funds dedicated to helping those attending black colleges and universities. My problem with making it free for everybody is not only that's really expensive, but as taxpayers, I personally don't want us paying to send Donald Trump's youngest child free to college. I think he should pay just like the rest of us who can afford it should pay. A new poll out Monday shows that Clinton has a strong lead over Sanders here in Tennessee, a fact reflected by her supporters. I think this is setting the momentum for Tuesday. She's going to win all the Super Tuesday states. She's going to win Tennessee with a landslide like she did in South Carolina. And then on March 15th, we're going to end it. So she's on the road to the White House and the Democratic nomination. What would you say to, to those people that are undecided about who to vote for? Well, I think if you look at her platform, and not just now, um, but look at what she has done, her emphasis on children and health care, um, equal pay. I mean, who wouldn't want that? Mm -hmm. Those are all very important things. Um, the economy, strengthening that. The decision should be simple. After Nashville, Clinton headed to Memphis to campaign at two black churches ahead of these Super Tuesdays primaries across the South. 
Remember to follow me on all social media, on, on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. I am Sheila Paz and stay tuned for more Entertainment Circle.